This scene from Live Free Die Hard is what we chose to do for our project. We had to do a little bit of research and estimation beforehand in order to figure out the physics behind the scene. A similar helicopter to the one used had a height of roughly 4 meters. The helicopter was about twice its height off the ground, so the chopper was hovering roughly 8 meters in the air. We found the police car to have a length of 5.39 meters, and the helicopter was about 4 police cars a length away from the ramp, about 21.56 meters. The standard police car has a 0 to 60 mile per hour acceleration time of 8.75 seconds. We converted 60 miles per hour into 26.8 meters per second, and by using simple math, we were able to calculate the acceleration as 3.06 meters per second squared. We timed the car to be accelerating for roughly 11 seconds, so the speed the car was going when it hit the ramp was roughly 33.66 meters per second. We used some complicated equations to figure out the angle of the ramp, and then using SOKOTOA, we were able to calculate the initial vertical velocity of the car as it hit the ramp to be 19.31 meters per second, and the initial horizontal velocity to be 27.57 meters per second. To calculate the time, we used the formula d equals vix plus vfx over 2 times t. Our math gave us a time of 0 0.78 seconds. Since time is the same for both x and y directions, we were able to use 0.78 seconds in the equation d equals viy times t plus 1 half times ay times t squared. We were able to find the distance the car travels in the y directions to be 12.09 meters, which is 0 0.09 of a meter above the top of the helicopter. However, if we take into account that the car had to go through a toll booth, it would definitely be traveling slow enough to hit the helicopter.